Hello and welcome to MapD Cloud. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the New York City Trees dataset that comes preloaded with every instance of MapD Cloud. This sample dataset includes more than 600,000 trees planted across all five boroughs in New York City. In the preloaded dashboard, we've included charts to show tree location, health, type, and trunk diameter. If I click on a couple of the more abundant tree species, like the London plane tree and calorie pear, you can see how uniform their distributions are on the map. But when I click on the Norway maple, you can see how sparse it is in Manhattan. I can use the polyline feature of the map to circle just Manhattan and see even more clearly how many other species are more prevalent than the Norway maple in that region. Looking at the species chart on the right, you can see it fall from 5th to 11th most common using that location filter. This dataset includes the borough name for every tree, so let's look at a more accurate way to see the trees in just Manhattan. First I'll remove the polyline filter using the icon in the top left of the map chart. Then I'll remove the tree trunk diameter chart so I can replace it with a chart of the boroughs. Clicking the Add Chart button in the upper right corner gives me a selection of different chart types I can add to my dashboard. In this case, I'll select a bar chart and use the borough name dimension. Then I'll select the number of records for the width measure, and there's my accurate distribution of trees by borough. I can add that back to my dashboard by clicking Apply. Now we can more accurately see there are only 290 Norway maples in Manhattan, by far the fewest of any borough. When I clear the tree species filter and look at all of the trees in Manhattan, we can see the honey locust is the most abundant tree in that borough by a pretty big margin. I can also zoom in to just lower Manhattan by using the shift key while I click to highlight the portion of the map I want to zoom into. No matter the resolution of the map, I can always click to see each individual record in the scatter plot. Last but not least, I can filter one more time to see just the trees in this region that are in poor health. Anybody want to go to Lower Manhattan and hug 1,397 trees with me next weekend? Well, if you do, or if you have any problems or questions about MapD Cloud, please reach out to us at cloudsupport at mapd.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.